OpenAI's new models, O3 and O4 Mini, can now think with images, use tools independently, and complete complex tasks without step-by-step -step instructions. These aren't just faster models, they represent a shift in how AI solves problems. In fact, O3 recently used over 600 tool calls in a single reasoning chain. Today, we're breaking down everything, how these models work, what sets them apart, and who can access them. And if you stick around, we'll also cover benchmark results, real-world use cases like Codex CLI, safety updates, and how this release changes the competitive AI landscape going forward. AI that thinks with images. The standout capability in both O3 and O4 Mini is image reasoning. This isn't about uploading a photo and asking for a caption or description. These models integrate images directly into their chain of thought, using visual information not as side inputs, but as central components of problem solving. OpenAI described it like this. They don't just see an image, they think with it. That phrase was repeated across multiple demos, including one where an OpenAI researcher uploaded a decade-old physics poster from a past internship. The model analyzed the text and visuals, interpreted complex diagrams, and identified that the final result, the key finding, was actually missing. According to Brandon McKenzie, a researcher at OpenAI, it would have taken him many days just for me to even onboard myself back to my project. But O3 synthesized the context and related academic insights in seconds. What makes this notable is the model's ability to actively manipulate visual data. It can zoom into details, crop out irrelevant sections, rotate or restructure diagrams, all to better understand the information. This opens up possibilities for fields like scientific research, data visualization, education, and design, where understanding visual input is often as critical as understanding text. This also signals an expansion of how AI systems are evaluated. Traditional benchmarks focus heavily on text-based tasks. With O3, OpenAI is moving toward a more comprehensive model of intelligence, one that blends linguistic and visual reasoning in a single pass. Tool use taken to the next level. Alongside image reasoning, Tool use has become a core function, not an add-on. According to OpenAI, O3 and O4 Mini were trained with reinforcement learning, not only to use tools, but to reason about when and why to use them. This shifts the AI from a reactive assistant to a semi-autonomous problem solver. One example given during the launch event was an analysis request for future energy usage patterns in California. The model was able to search for up-to-date utility data online write custom Python code to interpret it, generate graphs and visualizations, and compile a full report, all as a single fluid process without needing follow-up instructions. Brockman revealed that O3 has used 600 tool calls in a row when tackling a complex task, highlighting how deeply embedded this behavior is in its architecture. The models are equipped to use a variety of tools, including web search, file analyzers, code interpreters, and image generators. This creates an end-to-end -end workflow capacity. The model doesn't just provide one-off responses, it performs sequences of actions that mirror real human workflows in research, engineering, or data science. This level of autonomy reflects broader trends in AI development. Competitors like Anthropic's Claude and Google's Gemini 1.5 Pro have also integrated tool use but what sets a three apart is how seamlessly those tools are used within reasoning. Instead of relying on external orchestration, the reasoning and the tool calling happen as one coherent process, smarter, faster, more efficient than ever. When it comes to raw performance, OpenAI claims that O3 outperforms previous models across multiple benchmarks. These include code forces for competitive programming, SWE Bench for Software Engineering Tasks, and MMMU, a multimodal understanding benchmark. According to the company, O3 reduces major errors by 20% compared to its predecessor in challenging real-world scenarios. Meanwhile, O4 Mini is designed for speed and efficiency. It's a lightweight version optimized for cost-performance trade-offs while still retaining strong reasoning ability. On the 2025 AIME Mathematics Competition, a test used to assess problem-solving skills, 
04, many achieved a score of 99.5% when allowed access to a Python interpreter. Importantly, OpenAI has published data suggesting that both models improve on the cost performance frontier. In other words, they offer more intelligence per dollar spent. O3 surpasses a one in capability without increasing relative cost, and O4 Mini improves significantly over the previous O3 Mini. This positioning is particularly relevant in the current competitive climate. Google's Gemini models have recently expanded capabilities in code and vision tasks, while Claude 3 Opus from Anthropic has focused on reliability and long context reasoning. With O3 and O4 Mini, OpenAI is aiming to lead on both intelligence and economic scalability, a critical factor for developers and enterprise users looking to integrate these models into workflows. These models are also reported to be more memory efficient, which has implications for latency and responsiveness in real-world applications. As AI becomes more integrated into daily tools, from search engines to productivity apps, this kind of back-end efficiency matters. The developer superpower Codex CLI. Alongside the new models, OpenAI also introduced a tool aimed specifically at developers. Codex CLI, a lightweight coding agent that runs directly in the terminal. Unlike standard AI assistants that operate through web apps or IDE extensions, this tool is designed to bring multimodal reasoning into the command line itself. Codex CLI supports a range of inputs, including screenshots, sketches, and local code files. Developers can pass in low-fidelity UI mockups, for example, and receive functional code outputs in response. The agent can also interact with the local file system, enabling a more contextual understanding of existing code bases. In practice, this means workflows like sketch to code to debug can happen entirely through the CLI without switching environments. The tool reflects OpenAI's broader goal of integrating AI more directly into developer operations. To support adoption, OpenAI has also launched a $1 million initiative to fund projects using Codex CLI in the new O-Series models. Developers can apply for API credit grants of up to $25,000 to build tools, workflows, or platforms that leverage these capabilities. This release positions Codex CLI as a potential bridge between model capability and real-world productivity, especially for developers working on multimodal or tool-integrated projects. OpenAI Safety Overhaul With the increasing power of AI models, safety remains a major concern, and OpenAI has placed significant emphasis on risk mitigation with O3 and O4 Mini. According to the company, both models were subjected to their most rigorous safety program to date. The safety training data was entirely rebuilt, and new system-level safeguards were implemented to better detect and refuse harmful requests. The areas of focus include three high-risk categories, biological misuse, cybersecurity threats, and AI self-improvement or recursive self-enhancement. Despite the expanded capabilities, OpenAI reports that both O3 and O4 Mini remain below the company's high-risk threshold, meaning they did not cross predefined boundaries in risk-sensitive domains. These thresholds are used internally to determine when additional layers of oversight restriction, or auditing are required. OpenAI also confirmed that the models were trained with over 10 times the compute used in previous versions, reflecting the scale of both the capabilities and the safety testing involved. The emphasis on risk control is part of OpenAI's broader strategy to balance capability advancement with responsible deployment, especially as these models begin performing tasks with higher levels of autonomy and impact. Who can use it and how? Access to the new models has already begun rolling out. As of launch day, ChatGPT Plus, Pro, and Team subscribers can use O3 directly within the ChatGPT interface. For enterprise and education users, access is expected within the following week. This stage rollout mirrors the deployment pattern used in prior model updates. For those using ChatGPT on the free plan, O4 Mini is now available by selecting the Think mode in the Message Composer. This allows free users to test the lighter version of the model while still accessing its multimodal reasoning capabilities. On the developer side, both O3 and O4 Mini are accessible via OpenAI's Chat Completions API and Responses API. Some organizations may require additional verification to unlock full capabilities, particularly where advanced tool usage or code execution is involved. 
OpenAI has also stated that these models offer an improved cost-performance ratio. This is particularly relevant for developers, businesses, and research institutions looking to scale usage efficiently. By improving both intelligence and affordability, OpenAI is attempting to make these models more usable in production settings without escalating operational costs. Why this isn't just another update? The release of O3 and O4 Mini isn't simply about increasing speed or improving accuracy. It marks a fundamental shift in how AI operates. These models combine autonomous tool use with visual reasoning, creating workflows that resemble human-level problem-solving. This evolution is part of a broader trend in the AI space. Just days before this release, OpenAI also introduced GPT-4.1, a model optimized for advanced coding tasks. Other companies are moving quickly as well. Google recently launched updates to its Gemini 1.5 series, including support for larger context windows and improved code understanding, while Anthropic's Claude 3 Opus is focused on long context, reliable performance. XAI, Elon Musk's AI venture, is also in the race with models integrated into the X platform. Strategically, OpenAI is combining strengths from multiple directions. The reasoning power of the O series, the natural dialogue abilities of the GPT series, and real-world tool execution through APIs and CLI-based agents. This integration of capabilities is part of their stated long-term goal to build general-purpose systems that can learn, act, and reason in complex environments. OpenAI's momentum is also backed by significant investment. In March 2025, the company raised $40 billion in what's reportedly the largest private tech funding round in history, bringing its valuation to $300 billion. Reports also suggest OpenAI may be developing its own social platform aimed at creating a proprietary stream of training data, possibly to compete with platforms like X. With O3 and O4 Mini, OpenAI isn't just scaling its infrastructure, it's redefining what AI systems can do in practice. These models are no longer just assistants that answer prompts. They are starting to see, reason, and act in ways that align more closely with how humans navigate information and solve problems. As OpenAI noted in its release, today's updates reflect the direction our models are heading in. We're converging the specialized reasoning capabilities of the O series with more of the natural conversational abilities in tool use of the GPT series. This convergence signals a future where AI is not just a passive interface, but an active agent capable of interpreting the world, choosing its own tools and solving tasks with minimal human guidance. If you've made it this far, let us know what you think in the comment section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.